And here's an example that involves using the tangent ratio and also the Pythagorean theorem. Remember, a tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if we apply that concept to this triangle, here's an angle. The tangent of that angle has to be the length of the side opposite that angle divided by the length of the side adjacent to that angle. So let's write that. In this case, that means the tangent of 38 degrees has to be y over x. Okay, now I have two variables here. I can't solve this for y if I don't know x, and I can't solve it and get a value for x if I don't know y. If I have two variables, then I need two equations. And fortunately, I can look at this diagram and produce another equation. This is a right triangle, so I know that this squared plus that squared must be the hypotenuse squared. So I'll write, in this case, x squared plus y squared is 15 squared. Now how do I solve this? Well, there's a few ways we could approach it. I'll do this with a substitution. I'm going to take this first equation and solve it for y. I get y is going to be x times the tangent of 38 degrees. And let's do that. On the calculator, we can find the tangent of 38 degrees. Tangent of 38 degrees is 0.7813. I'll, I'll give four, four digits of accuracy there. So y is going to be 0.7813 times x. Okay, now I'm going to take this, since y is equal to that, I can substitute it in right there. So just take this value for y and plug it in there. So let's rewrite this equation, but instead of writing y, we'll write that. So I get x squared plus 0 0.71, excuse me, 0 0.7813x, all of that squared equals 15 squared. And so remember when you square a product, both of those factors get squared. So this becomes x squared plus and 0.7813 squared, well let's do that, 0.7813 squared gives me 0.6104. So I have x squared plus 0.6104 x squared equals 15 squared. And this can be combined. This x squared right here, think of that as a 1x squared. So 1x squared plus 0.6104x squared is 1.6104x squared. And that equals 15 squared on the right. 15 squared is 225. So now we just divide both sides by 1.6104 and we get x squared equals, and we do this on the calculator, 225 divided by 1.6104, that gives me 139.7. So x squared is 139.7, and then we take the square root of that. So I'll just do the square root of my previous answer, and x comes out to 11.82. So x right there is 11.82. And now that I know x, I can find y. And I'll use this equation to find y. y is just 0 0.7813 times 11.82. So I'll just keep my 11.82 that is in memory, and I'll do that times 0.7813. And I end up with 9.2. 9.25, 9.26. Oh wait, I actually mistyped that. I put 0 0.783. I need to do 11.82 times 0.7813. That will be the correct answer. 9.23, that's what I want for y. So y ends up being 9.23. Okay, so those are my answers x and y.